Buongiorno! Oggi impariamo come parlare degli eventi passati in italiano. Per farlo si usa il passato prossimo. To talk about past events in Italian, we can use the present perfect, il passato prossimo. This is the first of two lessons on this topic. Per favore, prendete il quaderno e la penna. Please take your notebook and a pen. I will show you an email that an Italian girl, Giulia, sent to her cousins. In the email, she talks about what she did yesterday after school. Per favore, leggete l'email e fate una lista di tutti i verbi che trovate. Attenzione! Non i verbi all'infinito, solo quelli coniugati. Please read the email and make a list of all the verbs you see. Careful, do not include verbs in the infinitive tense, just the ones that have been conjugated. Buon lavoro! Il tempo è finito. Avete trovato tutti i verbi? Let's see if you found all the verbs. Here they are. Ho parlato. Abbiamo chiacchierato. Abbiamo mangiato. Ho ricevuto. Ha detto. Ho preso. Sono arrivata. Ho aiutato. Abbiamo pulito. Ho dormito. Abbiamo cenato, hanno giocato, ha lavato, ha portato, siamo andati, avete fatto. Perfetto! Now let's talk about the first verb we saw. Ho parlato. As you can see, it's made up of two separate verbs. Can you recognize the first one? It comes from the verb avere. Do you still remember it? Let's quickly review it together. Io ho, tu hai, lui o lei ha, noi abbiamo, voi avete, loro hanno. What about the second part of the verb, parlato? It comes from the infinitive parlare. But what happened here? We just took out, took out the ending and added ato. Good news! The ending ato is the same for all subjects. So, what are these two verbs that we combine together to make up the passato prossimo? The first one is what we call an auxiliary verb, which means a verb that helps another one. The second one, parlato, is what we call past participle. So, the general rule to make the passato prossimo is an auxiliary verb, which for us is avere, plus a past participle. Benissimo! Let's have a look at the other verbs that we found in the email. Is there any other verb that acts exactly like ho parlato? I think so. What about the first one? Abbiamo chiacchierato. It has the form of avere per noi. And it has chiacchierato, which is the past participle of the verb chiacchierare. Now, can you please look at the other verbs? And whenever they end in ato, find out what form of avere they're using and what is the infinitive that the verb comes from.
Benissimo, controlliamo. Abbiamo mangiato? Mangiare. Ho aiutato? Aiutare. Abbiamo cenato? Cenare. Hanno giocato? Giocare. Ha lavato? Lavare. Ha portato? Portare. Molto bene. Now, I want you to look at ho ricevuto. This is slightly different from the others because it doesn't end in ato. It ends in uto. Can you guess the infinitive of the verb ricevuto? It is ricevere. And what about abbiamo pulito? Pulito comes from the verb pulire. And ho dormito? It comes from the verb dormire. So now, according to the information you already have, can you complete this chart about the past participle of the verbs are, ere and ire? Molto bene. Are verbs become ato, ere verbs become uto and ire verbs become ito. Let's go back to our list of verbs. We still have some that we have not put in our groups. What about ha detto? Or ha preso? Or avete fatto? Can you guess what kind of verbs these are? Yes, you're right. These are irregular verbs. Detto comes from the verb dire. Preso, prendere. And fatto, fare. And finally, we have two more verbs, sono arrivata and siamo andati. Can you see the difference between these two verbs and the others? It is the auxiliary verb. They do not use avere. What verb do they use? They use essere. We will talk about these verbs that need essere in the second lesson, but for now, let's focus on the ones that need avere. Riassumiamo, let's sum it up. Per fare il passato prossimo, abbiamo bisogno di un verbo ausiliare, for us it's still avere, e un past participle, participio passato. The auxiliary verb avere is o ai, a, abbiamo, avete, hanno. Il past participle can be of regular verbs, in which case they become ato, uto, ito, or it can be of irregular verbs, in which case we just have to memorize them. Facciamo pratica. Ecco dieci frasi. Completa con il passato prossimo e porta le risposte a scuola per la correzione. Buon lavoro!
Molto bene, il tempo è finito, parliamo dei verbi regolari. We already know that dire becomes detto, prendere, preso, and fare, fatto. Ma gli altri verbi? What about the others? Ecco una lista di verbi irregolari. These are some of the most common irregular verbs. You will have to memorize them and you can choose the method that you feel more comfortable with. You can make flashcards, you can use Quizlet, you can repeat them over and over again. For now, I need you to copy them in your grammar book, Italo. You need to pause the video and copy them down and show them to me tomorrow at school. Infine, facciamo pratica con i verbi irregolari. Per favore, completa le frasi con i verbi al passato prossimo e porta le risposte a scuola per la correzione. Grazie e alla prossima!